Once upon a time on this channel, I reviewed this, the Luca Seahorse Pro Plus, but it picked up something else from our friends at Luca. Zoom out here for dramatic effect. Sorry for the poor camera action there. Boom, the Seahorse Max. That sucker's a beast. Take the wrapping off here. There we are. 360 view on the box here. All your pretty standard stuff. Both sides, it's got the same design there. The box itself, it's one of these Milton Bradley style boxes. Slowly building suspense. There we go. Got the user manual, the warranty card. That's just kind of for optical value. Flip this over. See everything that's in there. Some type of a rubber gasket filter nozzle. Luca tips. Not one, but two. Quite a bit of stuff in here. Get the main unit right there, which will set down. It's gel cap, always tossed to the side. Something in a box. Part of the base right there. And the rest of the base right there. So there's a lot to this one. So with this Lucas Seahorse, this is one of the most versatile tools I've ever owned. And this one's gonna be a little bit less versatile. You guys, you can see from the box, it's meant to be kind of a desktop kind of a deal. But I assume you're also gonna be able to get much larger hits with this one. Let's just look at this up front. And so similar to this seahorse, you're gonna have the tip that you put here. You're gonna do all your functionality with that one button. And then you got your mouth nozzle up here, looking down the barrel there. Looks like it's got a filter in place. So I'm not 100% sure how this attaches or doesn't attach. Now that I'm thinking about it, I bet this is the charger cord which it most certainly is. So as is customary, I'm gonna throw this on the charger and start going through the user manual. This is like the longest user manual I think that I've ever gotten with a gadget. Open it up and it's got all the little details. Gotta make sure that the holes are aligned. A silicon mouthpiece stopper. Somewhere in there's a cleaning brush. Oh, now I see it. Just kind of stuck in there. And that's a really nice cleaning brush. Not that I buy gadgets just for the cleaning brush per se, but it's a useful little tool right there. And as you can see, it's all going to connect. A lot of it is connected, but we're going to have to put together the base. And over here is the how to use. And a lot of it's pretty standard functionality. If you watch enough of my videos and see enough of the gadget reviews, then you know that five times to turn it on, that's standard. Hit it three times to get it going. Hit it two times real quick if you want to change the voltage. Got the different voltages there and the different colors. Got an auto mode. I don't know that there's a device out there that doesn't have auto mode these days, but perhaps there's one somewhere. Got different alarm indicators. And then when it's charging, which I'm doing right now, you got the red light is flashing. Eventually it's gonna switch over to the cyan color and that'll let you know that it is fully charged. And I think this is true of all Luca products, 30 days from the date of purchase against manufacturer defects. Alrighty, we're all charged up here. I'm gonna start putting this item together. Base, it's gonna snap in there. Like so this right here is gonna align with the inside of the base right there and that's how it's gonna attach on there that way when you got the dab coughs going and you're all disoriented you can go hands-free these are the types of coils that came with it that that's different than the Luca Seahorse Pro Plus screws in all the same though now you're locked and loaded and so for the buttons you got the manual mode details right there and the auto mode details right there. Five times to turn it on. Two quick hits changes the voltage. Blue is the lowest and you got purple. And lastly, green is the hot one. From here, you can just hold it down, wait three seconds and start dipping it into your preferred concentrate. Or you have the auto mode. If you press the power button three times, it just goes into auto mode and now I mean, this is like the equivalent to multi-ball and pinball, right? You're just bam, bam, dabbing left and right. And while it's in the auto mode, as you can see, if I'm clicking the button, it'll flip through it. Just stop the auto mode, one, two, three, and that turns it off. All right, now I'm excited. Gotta go get something. Got some more of that Sandcastle Live rosin. Can't get enough of that. And so in theory, it's kind of up to you. If you wanna do the old no-hander, you could have it like this fix your mouth right here and just start working it like that or you can come on the fly I and mean, it's like when you have the regular sharpie right right here 
And then you go to that Jumbo Super Fat Sharpie and you're just writing away. This is the dab equivalent to that. With this kind of dome labyrinth action that the vapor has to travel through, I mean, you're never going to probably ever get any dab splatter whatsoever. I'm not sure how easy it is to clean. That will... We'll just have to wait and see. I'll say with the Seahorse Pro Plus, cleaning it hasn't really been a big need. I just changed the tips. By the time the tip gets funky on this and I discard it, put the second one into use, discard it, and get around to ordering more, I doubt there will even be that much dab build up in here. I'll make sure to check for sure, but after adding the tip, you want to put just a little bit of water in there. You can see the, they call them percolation holes. Good shot here. got it on auto mode and you can see it just keeps rolling so now you basically have kind of a mobile dab rig of sorts try it again super smooth hits big hits much bigger than the Luca Seahorse Pro Plus no offense to this device this is great for on the go but as someone who hangs out at their desk making content all day having something sitting desk side like this it's a little more robust than the average Seriously, this thing is like if Robocop was a nectar collector. Super awesome, and you could take this mobile, it gives you this cap right here that you could put on there, and so you could you could feasibly dump this water out, either put this in the box or throw it in a bag with this, you can go set up at a picnic table, get your dabs, and there you go. Plus you can keep it like this, people walk in the room, they're like, wow, are you conducting some research? Got your microscope out there. They're like, yep. Just in here doing that important work. Seahorse Max Pro, as far as cost goes, is on the high end of Luca products. This is like one of their main big products, if you will. Looking at their website right now, it's $178.99. Compare that to the Luca Seahorse Pro Plus, which is between like $50 $55. So it depends on what your budget is. It depends on how often you're going to be hitting the dabs. If you're going to be doing it often and you want your dab hits to be smooth, you want your device to be easy to use and for the whole setup to be convenient, maybe consider getting the Seahorse Max. Now you know it's in the box. You've seen it in action a little bit, so now you know. No one's half the battle. Catch you folks next time on the Higher Things Club.